let's just notice for a moment how the color spots in our room look now. Remember those color spots? <sighs> and as you turn your head now and your eyes now to these color spots, notice if the body is giving you any clues that there's some vagal activation going on, that the social engagement system is on. Maybe your mouth is watering. Maybe your ears opened. Ah. Hmm. Maybe your breath is a little bit more relaxed or maybe it, there's a yawn coming up. Now we're gonna shift our head from side to side. Actually, you can stay standing or leaning against a wall. I'm gonna come closer to the camera, so I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna grab a chair. You can do it sitting down if you like. I recommend doing it standing up erect. Get a moment for the camera to refocus. More than a moment. Hey, camera. Ah, there we go. Okay, so, ah, so I'm sitting. Oops. Or standing, but in any case, what I want is to have my stomach and my torso and my neck really, really soft. Have everything as soft as possible. And we want to shift our head and notice how far does it go. If I was an owl, how far back would I be able to look? Just once or twice. Just like taking a baseline. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our gaze to the left and look at our at the wall to the left and just go up and down with the eyes just the eyes are moving and i want to release the breath let the breath rule i'm just looking up and down how fast or how slow? Well, slow enough for there to be movement that will grab the attention, yeah? And for me to notice what's going on and fast enough uh, for there to be a movement. came out all jumbled. Okay. So up and down. And now we're going to come back to the center and I want to leave my nose facing forward as much as possible, as much as is comfortable. Now I'm going to shift my gaze to the right and again Look up and down. Is there a yawn? Is there an opening of the ears? Is there a swallowing? Is there a little gargling of the stomach? Is there a spontaneous extra breath? Or extra sigh and come back okay now let's go back to our baseline and see if there's any change in our owlish movement not bad huh okay 
Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing, but this time we're going to bring in our face because we want to bring in some other end organs of the social engagement system, right? So we're going to bring in the face. We're going to look, it's going to look a little bit dramatic. Don't be afraid to seem really dramatic, okay? So we're going to look to the left. And now we're going to take our eyes up and down, but with letting the whole face uh, take part in this. Wow. Ah. Ah. A lot of drama in it. And maybe spontaneously the spine straightens. Wow. Maybe spontaneously there's a little bit more tension in the shoulders ah, and the trapeze muscle. Now I can join my head moving up and down as well as the gaze. Whoa. And the voice box. Wow. Wow. So that completes one side. See how you feel now. How does the left side of the face, neck, torso feel? Maybe even legs. Lung. Head. Skull. How does it feel in comparison to the other side? Now let's go to the other side. Okay, we start with the eyes and the face. And then we add the head movement. Ah. feel now? How alive does the body feel now? How free does the breath feel now? And let's examine our owlish movement. Ah. Sometimes when we check our owlish movement, we get more opening of the ears or some other cues that the social engagement system is on. All right. Okay. Okay.